There's a new 400 pound security guard in the parking lot, and it's a robot. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Let's, let's take I a look. I thought it was gonna be mean. Nope. Chances are you haven't heard of Nightscope, a security startup founded way back in 2013. But it won't be long before you come face to face with one of its creations. They're 400 pound, six foot tall autonomous security robots that rove parking lot aisles, the hallways of office campuses, sports stadium foyers, and shopping malls on the prowl for suspicious activity. There's only 700 plus thousand sworn women and men protecting our streets, and that's at the federal, state, and local level. Uh, the math doesn't pencil, you can't do that. So what's the actual problem? The actual problem is that we don't have actionable intelligence, and the only way to gain actionable intelligence is through eyes and ears. All right, that's the Nightscope K5, a LiDAR robot that would be able to uh, scan areas that maybe people wouldn't want to go, maybe really dangerous areas. Examples given were uh, areas under bridges in San Francisco, um, just really not friendly areas for security where they would be afraid for their lives per se, security, human security guards. Um, it does say that it packs a uh, LiDAR sensor that and cameras that would help it differentiate between a harmless passerby and a potential criminal. I don't know how, uh, but it doesn't take any action, fortunately. No one's getting shot by the robot or arrested by the robot. It would, um, it, it operates basically like a moving security camera and an intimidating presence. I would say it would be able to upload all of this uh, camera information, terabytes of it away, and be able to store it for 15 years uh, necessarily. I think it's a fine idea. I mean, I, I get what he's saying. There's only so many people that are willing to, you know, put their life on the line defending mm -hmm. a parking lot under a bridge. So let's do the next best thing, which is a very expensive robot. I'm not. Quite sure why more security cameras wouldn't also work. I get how this is a crime deterrent because if I'm doing something shady and that thing rolls around the corner, I don't care if it doesn't have like a gun on it. Like I'm freaked the hell out. <laughs> but you know it doesn't have a gun. I mean, there would be a way you can get around it. You I think the solution around. is you could literally find the tipping point and tip <laughs> it over. I don't know. You could hit it with your car for all I know. Oh, well, I guess you just totally undid the security system because, yeah, you could just hit it with your car. I'm not scared of it. What if we put attached to it like a guard dog on a leash <laughs> and then the robot could determine whether or not a dangerous situation was happening and release the leash <laughs> and then the guard dog is off to the races? Because now it's I, just like, a, and the dog gets walked, which is I nice, <laughs> I think. I don't know if I want a robot in charge of a dog. <laughs> Release the hound, and then it just runs off, and then it just runs across the street to freedom. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you may worry that this would put actual security guards out of jobs. Uh, but don't but, worry, it's prohibitively expensive. No, it's it's kind of well. Here it is. Um, it would the plan from Nightscope costs about seven dollars an hour for twenty four seven surveillance. That's sixty two thousand dollars annually, and that includes monthly software updates, maintenance, and remote assistance from uh, technicians in the company itself. It costs about as I don't know how much a security guard salary is, that's but I think comparable. that's a pretty that's a pretty like sizable human being salary. And it's 62. powered by uh, powdered donuts, so you don't actually buy need to buy new fuel that you weren't already buying for your security guards, no. so it's perfect. No, erroneous, <laughs> no. Uh, but this would be to help a security guard. Maybe, I don't, I'm not intimidated by it. I think what? I would laugh at it and then continue committing crimes if I were a criminal, which I'm not. What if we gave it the portal turret voice package, um. and then it could just like, I see you, where did you go? Oh, to put the creepy Hello. element in? Yes, so then it's like rolling around the corner, like you're robbing a store late at night, and this thing is just following you, saying vaguely creepy things and recording everything that you do. I feel like it would get it shot at. Maybe it's even bulletproof. <laughs> I think we're QCing this thing right now, I know, live. I know, I just, I'm really not scared of it at all. I don't know if it really. How about the Dalek voice package then? Sure, and then make it look like a Dalek. But then put a like, plunger on it and have it chase Hoobians people around. Then will see it and try to like take cosplay photos around it all the mm. time, and that will 
ruin the point of having one at all. Audience, if you saw this thing late at night, what would you do? What would you do? Let us know below in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more.